Hey everyone, Luke here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Maps to make sure that you are hitting every single surrounding city in your area to make sure you are targeting them with phone flipping ads to make sure that you are getting the maximum amount of leads and phones even from areas outside of your normal advertising avenue. Let's go. <laughs> Hey everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Google Maps to make sure I am targeting every single city or town in my area that actually matters. So if you're like me, you're from probably either a small or moderately sized town. I'm from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. There's around 60,000 people here. There are surrounding towns that have around 10 and 20,000 people, which adds up to around a circumference of around $100,000 advertising or lead potential. So if you're from a larger city, this may even help you out even more. So me personally, even though I've been here my whole life, when I started using this Google Maps tip that I'm about to show you, I learned of a bunch of other smaller towns that are actually on the circumference of Eau Claire that I had never even heard of. I have never even been there in the entirety of my life. So what you need to do is you need to go on Google Maps and you're going to find this on Google. It's very easy. Just go to Google and then search Google Maps. What you're going to do is you're going to just type in your city. So Eau Claire, Wisconsin is my city. Then Google Maps is going to zoom in on that. Now what you need to do is you need to zoom in on Google Maps and find your hometown and kind of find where you're at. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually just exit out of this. You're going to want to just do that. That way it stops highlighting the area because you don't want to just advertise in Eau Claire. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll out a little ways. And then you're going to see that there's Lake Halley, there's the town of Seymour, there's the town of Altoona or the city of Altoona. city of Altoona is around 10 minutes from Eau Claire. So these are towns that you want to advertise in because they are literally within 10 to 30 minutes of your hometown. Like I said, when I was younger, when I first started using this Google Maps tip, I didn't even realize that there were all these small little cities around the area. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys this because I figured it would help a lot of you out. I know there's a lot of people out there that struggle with areas that have a lot of competition. And sometimes it's not just about getting phones from your direct area. It's about branching out also. And we're going to also talk about how to get phones from up to an hour and a half to two hours away from bigger cities and how to bring them closer to you. And I've actually got a live deal that's coming down here tonight from the cities they're over an hour and a half away and they're driving directly to me so anyways being said let's go back to the video here on the screen so you'll see we have Google Maps up so there's Eau Claire there's the town of Seymour there's the city of Altoona now a little farther out although it looks kind of far on Google Maps Fall Creek is only around 15 minutes from Eau Claire. So Fall Creek is another place that I would want to advertise phone flipping ads. You can advertise on Craigslist. Make sure that you're advertising towards Fall Creek and that you're actually using the Fall Creek zip code. In order to obtain each town or city zip code, just do a quick Google search and just formatize it like this. Fall Creek zip code. Boom, hit Google search and you're going to find out what the zip code is. You can actually target each county in each city if you use the exact name and the actual zip code on Craigslist. You can do this on Facebook Marketplace also. Join a Fall Creek for sale group. Example, you know, if you're here in Wisconsin. If you're in, you know, another city, join every single for sale group that is directed towards that city or that town. So here's another little town. It looks like Cleghorn. I've never even heard of this one before. This is another area that I could advertise in. If we go off to the left here, we have Rock Falls and Carryville. These are two other little cities. I've personally been to these. They're around 30 minutes away from Eau Claire. Here's another one. We have Falls City. Not sure what this is, not sure where it is, looks very small, but that's another one that we could advertise to. Here's another one, Elk Mound, I've personally been to this, it's a small little town, but it's only around 10 to 15 minutes away from Eau Claire. So, as you can see, the further you zoom out, the more cities you're going to see. Another one here is Menominee. Menominee is actually another city that's around the same size as Eau Claire, maybe a little bit smaller, but Menominee is actually quite big. You can see just by all the lines and the graphs here that Menominee is actually pretty 
big. It's actually a college town also, so there's a lot of college students there. So just keep this in mind when you guys are phone flipping that you shouldn't just be targeting your area. You should literally be using Google Maps to target all of these little and smaller towns that kind of make up the greater population of your entire city. This is something that I've done and during the slow spells and phone flipping, this has literally kept me alive because some days it does get slow. But since I've got this entire strategy mastered and then all of the other strategies that I've taught, it's pretty much kept my business busy no matter what time of the year it is I don't really experience slow spells because of the fact that I advertise in this entire circumference now that being said now that we're kind of done talking about the towns that are basically immediately surrounding you another thing to do if you're in a moderately or small town is to start advertising towards bigger cities so if we drift a little bit here off to the left this is Minnesota in Minnesota we've got Stillwater which is around 45 minutes from me we've got Woodbury which is about an hour and 15 minutes from me we've got St. Paul which is around an hour and 45 minutes from me and then we've got Minneapolis or the Twin Cities which is around two and a half hours from me so if you're in a moderately or small town sometimes you can actually target customers from big cities now one of the big advantages of this is you might get big customers a lot of the big deals that I get either come from cities they're from people down here that you know are repeat customers or their business to business deals but some of my bigger new customer deals typically come from Minneapolis Woodbury and Stillwater and st. Paul they all come from around this Minnesota area now one of the best ways to negotiate a deal to get the customer to actually drive an hour or two hours away to you is to beat everybody's prices so if you have really good connections overseas or you have a really good domesticated direct buyer the best thing to do for these customers that are going to be bringing you 10 or 15 phones at a time is to work off of volume don't be greedy try and offer a better price than whoever they're selling to currently or offer them the same price but also offer them gas and offer to give them tips on how to grow their business how to acquire more phones give them tips you know, maybe teach them how to post ads. I've actually taught certain customers of mine before to actually post their own ads so they can pick phones up at X amount of price and then bring them to me. That is how you build an infrastructure. That is how you build a phone flipping seven figure monster home based business like I have. You actually develop your own infrastructure in a sense. But that being said, you can target people that are 30 minutes away from your hometown. Like I said, just going in here on the map, you can target everybody around here or you can target people from around an hour to two hours away if you want to target a bigger city. Just keep in mind to get those people to drive you, you do got to offer higher prices or you've got to offer the same prices that they're getting and also offer like a gas card. Like I'll usually offer people that come to me from the cities, I'll offer them $20 in gas and usually I beat the prices that they're getting up there too. So that's one thing that you can do and then as you build a repeat clientele from the cities, you can also do other stuff for your customers. I've taken my customers to dinner before just to talk about business and try to help them expand grow help them get through stuff yeah believe it or not I'm kind of a mentor and coach for some of my customers too I try and help them out I try and help them grow their business you know depending on what they're doing obviously the ones that come that are illegitimate you know or they're doing really sketchy stuff can't really talk or help those people it ends up being a one-time deal but a lot of the big deals and actually repeat customers come from the cities uh, another big group of customers that I get actually come up from Milwaukee and I have a couple that come up from Chicago they drive six hours away to bring me phones they'll bring 15 or 20 at a time so never ever underestimate your advertising power that's one of the biggest things is I think people try and advertise in their area within like a just like a 10 or 15 mile radius or they'll just post ads in their zip code the best thing to do is literally hit all areas with around a four hour radius you never know what you might get I know it sounds kind of ridiculous but I've had so many people drive over five hours to come to me and sometimes I can't even believe it myself but you never know what they need or when they need the money and if they can't find any pawn shop or anybody around there to buy their phones or whatever they're going to drive five hours what is it to them they're going to make a thousand two thousand dollars for five hours of their time that's how they're looking at it so believe it or not one of the best ways to keep your phone flipping business busy and the best way to get more leads and more phones and make more profit is to literally advertise in every single avenue that you can every single city every single township make sure you're hitting those ads and target them target the name and the zip code so here's another one there's Barron Turtle Lake Cumberland Rice Lake Cameron these are all about one hour away from me they're still in Wisconsin however I target all four of these because they're all in that one hour radius now the other thing is the power of advertising between one and two hours away if you get a big deal and the person won't drive all the way to you 
Who's to say that you couldn't drive 30 minutes, make them drive 30 minutes and meet up in a neutral location? So another thing that I do, like example, New Auburn is kind of the halfway point between Eau Claire and Rice Lake. So if I was having a customer from Rice Lake and they didn't want to drive all the way to Eau Claire, I'd offer to meet them in New Auburn. One thing that I have pre-programmed in my phone is I have a bunch of surrounding cities actually mapped out in my phone. So what I'll do is I'll find like Starbucks's or McDonald's and I'll find the addresses of those cities. I'll save the address in my phone and then I'll type Eau Claire McDonald's or Rice Lake McDonald's. So when a customer messages me from those areas, I can say, boom, here's the address. Let's meet at McDonald's and everything's all good to go. And it runs really fluently. So that's, you know, just goes kind of back into organization. I've done a couple videos on that. But this is huge, guys. I promise you, if you take this tip and you use it and you start advertising and hitting all of the towns that are kind of surrounding your town, not just your town, not just the neighborhood towns, but start advertising out farther. You will get more deals and more leads. On those days where you're sitting there posting ads or you're sitting there organizing your office because nobody's messaged you from your town, these ads will literally save your business and help you to keep a constant flow of business and phone flipping profits coming through into your business by taking advantage of all the other towns that you may not be targeting or hitting and taking advantage of some of the bigger cities. Imagine this. If you go one day and you get no phones and you get no leads, hopefully you're getting leads, but let's just say you get no phones. Imagine if you would have had a couple ads two hours away posted in a bigger city. Imagine if those ads got you three phones that day. Even if you had to drive two hours away, imagine if you got three phones and you made $120 per phone. That's $350 profit. And then if you take your gas, that's probably you know $30 or $40 off. But you still made $300. And let me tell you this, when it comes to you know hitting six figures in a year, making $300 a day is about six figures in one year. So making $300 and driving two hours is better than sitting at home all day for eight hours and not making a single dime. Same thing if you're you know employed and you're doing this part time on the side, it's better to make $300 extra in a day and you know miss a little sleep than make absolutely nothing. Every day you should be trying to make money if you are self-employed or whether you're doing this part time or full time or still employed. Every day you should try and make something in this business. Even if it's $50, it's better than nothing. Obviously, if it's like a two hour drive for 50 bucks, don't do it. But in the instance where you get two or three phones that are an hour and a half away and they won't drive at all, sometimes it's worth the drive because $300 is better than making nothing. You want that constant grind, that constant income coming in and just build and build and build and build. And you'll also develop a lot of repeat customers by using this strategy too. So that being said, I hope this helps people get some extra phones out there. Hope it helps your businesses from being slow and I hope you make some extra money by using Google Maps and taking advantage of all the potential advertising space that you can use by targeting direct cities and using their zip codes. So that being said, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.